In today's video, I want to talk about joint pain and muscle injury. And to start out, I want to look at the difference and to explain the difference between the sensation of muscular work, which is a positive sensation, and the difference between that and joint and muscle pain. When you're performing your quick hip workout, you'll notice as the exercise continues and begins to get challenging, you'll get a sensation of a burning type sensation a happening in the center of your muscles, the muscles that you're targeting with that exercise. And it's, a, it's this burning sensation that builds to the end of the exercise, but the moment you stop that exercise, that sensation completely dissipates almost immediately. That's a positive sensation, something we need to happen. It tells us that we're exercising right. On the other hand, there is joint or muscle pain. Now that's where you get a sharp uh, or continuous sensation in the joint or in the muscle and it'll stay there even after you stop moving, uh, even if uh, after you stop the exercise. That you don't want from exercise. You want to avoid that. In fact, good exercise, a quick hit approach to exercise is going to um, improve your chances of having a strong, resilient body that never has to have that kind of sensation. Let's start off by looking a little bit more detail now at joint pain. Now, joint pain is usually derived from an injury or arthritis. And because we're talking about the world of exercise, I'm going to focus on injury. So a joint pain from an injury could be as simple as a, a sprain or a strain like tendonitis. That's where you'd, you'd feel sort of the pain in the joint that, that as you move for a certain position, you feel an uncomfortable shooting type sensation. Now, if you catch that early and you give it two to three, three weeks recovery, that will tend to just go. The sensation will go. Worse joint in injuries include things like a torn ligament or cartilage damage, which are more serious and take longer to, to recover from. As an aside, being overweight is a long-term risk for your joints because it puts continuous excess strain on your joints, particularly your knee and your hip joints. Now, picking up a, a, a joint pain or strain um, in the world of exercise comes usually down to one of two things. Number one is a bad choice of exercise, so picking an exercise that isn't biomechanically correct and the other thing is your performance technique is bad. So you're moving too quickly or you're moving into a position which is unsafe. That is when damage in that sense, uh, joint pain sense is likely to happen. Let's move on now to muscle pain and injury. And that's moving away from the joint to the muscle, the center of the muscle itself. Now muscles can be pulled or torn. Um, and this is a type of muscle strain. And it's usually due to overstretching a muscle at a high speed where the muscles are overloaded or have too heavy a load as well. This can cause pain, soreness, weakness, stiffness, and even tightness. And common areas, many people will feel this sensation as in the hamstrings, the calf, the back, or the groin. Um, you'll notice professional athletes will typically have injuries in those areas as well. This also would typically happen from moving too fast with too heavy a weight and again from perhaps choosing poor exercises to, to do in the first place. Now there's a difference between the sensation of muscular work as we've already talked about and these types of pain and it's important to remember those. Also, it's important to know that when you exercise well, there is a positive type of muscle damage that can happen, and that's when your fibers are exposed to an appropriate amount of muscular or mechanical tension. Um, An exercise-induced muscle damage is repaired naturally very quickly by the body. You won't have like a sensation of pain from it. Uh, it's repaired or regenerated very quickly between your workouts, and that's different from from the, the muscle pain or injury we were talking about. So how does this relate to quick hit workouts? Quick hit workouts produce appropriate levels of positive muscle damage that stimulate your muscles to get stronger. Unfortunately, many approaches to exercise consider joint pain and muscle strain a necessary evil of exercising. 
Quick Hit focuses on a better approach. We don't want you to have to experience that at all. We're focused on helping you build a resilient body and actually protecting you against future injuries.